in time. <clears throat> I'm back. I got so many people asking me about staying in the city, leaving the city, or whatever. You know, it's time to make that decision. I believe that now is uh, when you better make it. Now, the title of this video will be it's time to hunker down or run. I'll be honest with you. With what I know, if somebody offered me a million dollars in cash to move to three or four major cities, I wouldn't do it. A million dollars in a briefcase in cash waiting on me when I moved to that city. But the deal on that million dollars is I got to sign a contract to stay there for one year. You can keep the million dollars. Based on what I know, I don't want the money. Because you can't spend it if you're dead. Okay? Now, you know, this has not been an overnight thing. This has been planned for years and years and years and years and years. And more years. And I understand, end time completely understands if you just woke up. Okay. But if you've been awake a while and you're still in the big city and you decide to hunker down there, I pray God will take you through the fire without burning. If you get my drift. But if you have a means and a way to get out, Let me, let, let me run this by you, too. Anything over 50,000 people spread out, I wouldn't touch it. And if I had to stay, I guarantee you I'd have me a garrison. Look the word up. I'd have me a garrison and a stronghold and have it so fixed up with things I could think of, and I can't say the word because I don't want to go to jail, and I don't want to not be of use and, and, and say something stupid that would get me the feds knocking down my doors and me have to kill them, and uh, then the rest of them kill me and my family before the time. Uh, what I'm saying is I just don't want to uh, put the cart before the horse. So, But I would have me a garrison based on my environment, and I would have me some stuff fixed up that... Uh, may trigger this and may trigger that and may do this and may do that and may do this and you figure it out from there. But if you ain't got the amount of food you need to hold up in that place, if you ain't got the amount of ammo and, 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 and weaponry to protect you from the... And I got news for you. Of course they're going to knock the doors down of some patriots. But not the majority of all of you right now, they're not. You're going to have to worry about gangs and thugs and child rapists and drug addicts and all that when the when the food's cut off. Not if, when. You're going to have to protect yourself and your home from that to start with. They ain't got enough manpower to come and knock everybody's door down and confiscate guns all at once. But you will be dealing with gangs and thugs, murderers and rapists that think they got carte blanche because the system is broke down. Not if, because it is. If you cannot get out of there and you don't feel led to, I'm not your prophet, I'm not your priest, I'm not your king. I am just a message boy that God chose to use and raise up in these last days that I ain't nothing special, but he chose to use me. And if I don't accept that calling and stay in that calling, I'm in rebellion against God and rebellion is the same thing as the sin of witchcraft. Book of Samuel. But I'm telling you, don't sit there on your money when you could get out and you don't. Because you've got some kind of career tie. When you've got the wherewithal, the means, and the money to get to the country, the people in the country will fare a whole heck of a lot better than the people in the city. That's just the way the, look, that's just the way the ball is going to bounce. 
I didn't write the book. I didn't make the rules. Number one, take it up with God. Number two, take it up with them evil feds and this evil government that you just so love to serve. Okay? Having said that, if you're in the country, find you somebody like-minded you can trust. I've said it, I've begged it, and I've screamed it for months. Because it will get to a point, even in the rural areas, that somebody's going to have to remain awake. Everybody can't be asleep all at the same time if you're going to protect your goods, your home, and your family. You're going to have to rotate it out. Number one, we did that when I was in the military. Well, number one should have been, greatest example was what Jesus talked about in the watches, the watchers. First, second, third watch. Somebody had better be up when this thing ratchets up. Somebody better be alert. You can have a friggin' brain security alarm all you want to. It ain't gonna help you when they cut that power and the, the, the all this stuff breaks down. Nobody's gonna answer that phone like that commercial says and we're sending somebody right over. You better think about what end time is telling you. I'm trying to warn you. You know good and well I'm different from anybody on this flipping YouTube stuff. Not that that's anything to be bragging about, but I've never, ever, ever beat around the bush with any of you. I'm telling you to make sure that there's enough people in your house. And if you're alone, you may want to consider moving. Make sure there's enough people that they can watch and help you watch your stuff that somebody's alerting up. I'm already practicing it doing it. Okay? You better keep a watch over your house. Well, that ain't biblical. Mm -hmm. If the strong man knew when the thief was coming, he would not suffer his house to be broken into. So you rotate, and no matter when he comes, you're ready for him. I know I'm speaking in a parable, but you better grasp this. And no, they're not getting me down. Can I tell you what I'm down? I'm down and out about the people, amount of people that ain't ready. My heart's broke for them, not for me and my family. I got a garrison. I'm ready. I am ready for Freddy, if that's his name. It's coming. It's going to happen. And you better get ready. If you got kin folks that's got the wherewithal and the money to get out of the big cities, the least you can do is ask them to leave and tell them what you know. And if they don't leave, then the blood's off your hands. Or if you're there and you got the wherewithal and you're sitting on cash and, 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 and just Google, look, just look, just look on the flipping internet. And you can look at less populated areas. And you can move there. It don't take a whole heck of a lot to get by if you cut back on stuff. Take it from somebody that knows it ain't worked since September. If you'll cut back and you look at stuff you think you got to have and you don't have to have it anymore and you go ahead and break yourself from it now, it won't be so hard on you when it does ratchet up. And they're ratcheting it up. They control the ratchet. And they're ratcheting it up real quick. Hey, and by the way, when it was about 10,000 months ago, I told you it was going to five grand the stock market. I know I was laughed at by all the economists and all. That's fine. Let them laugh. But it's coming. And you had better be ready. I pray for you. And I pray God will save you and bless you and keep you. In Jesus' name, I got to go.